Landscaping. Julio's out sick today. started I know we've all been concerned lately about security that's why the president has asked this town here to sit in on this <clears throat> somebody in the company has been less than candid uh, I can we get some coffee in here uh, sure Phil Ray, I ain't driving, you know. Sure, that's the right briefcase. Now, look, honey, it was the only thing ticking in the room. Well, excuse me, I just wanted to clear up that little detail before we got blown clear from here to Paramus. Now, ain't that something? Very man of love. Baby, what a way to go. While you were living here, sir, it's no one's peace of mind. Uh, well, wake her up. This is important. So is that. Madam has got to unwind after the last batch of nastiness you put her through. You know, Phillips, there was a time when you were loyal. When was that, sir? Aren't you going to get that? It's the red phone, sir. You know, my clearance only extends to the princess and the touch tone.
Hi, Frank, listen, I've been trying to get you for an hour, but that stegosaurus you got in your outer office wouldn't put me through it. Yeah. Oh, hi, Mrs. Cooley. I, I'll hold. Hello, Phillips. Welcome back, madam. Hi, Frank, look, tell Mrs. Cooley I didn't mean to, you know. Yeah, good idea. When is her birthday? Right. Yeah, I'm on top of it. We're about to go into a briefing session now. Foxfire. Yeah, I know we just used her, but this lady's got, uh, stamina. Yeah, in fact, she's already expressed an interest. Right. All right, I'll, I'll stay in touch. Right. Oh, wait, Frank, did you get the shoe skates? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought so, too. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, I'd love to the Joint Chiefs. All right. It was the White House. That was a dirty trick, Larry. The two have been historically connected, madam. Will you be showing your usual boring collection of slides? Dr. Alex Bachman is a heavyweight on the President's Council of Science. The Pentagon signed him as a bonus baby right out of MIT. He's involved in every defense system we've got, uh, on the ground, in the air, and in space. Yeah, I saw a series on PBS last year. Kept talking all during our trip through the atom. <laughs> well, everybody has to sing for their supper. A couple of laps around the talk show circuit can mean millions in research money. Yeah, it can also go to your head. Well, that's what this lady's concerned about. This is the good doctor's wife, Carol Bachman. They met when she was his research assistant. They've been married for 12 years, no kids, one heart attack. His. Well, he's awfully young, isn't he? Well, according to Carol, he shook it off like it was the flu. Carol claims he has more energy now than he did before his illness. But it's the kind of manic energy that precedes a nervous breakdown. He's been behaving very strangely, and that makes my brother very nervous. Look, I don't know this lady, but it may be a case of midlife marital paranoia. Does anybody else share her opinions, colleagues, other people that see him daily? Well, we've made some discreet inquiries, but this is pretty touchy stuff, you know. I mean, you can't go up to these novellists and say, uh, look, you notice anything uh, weird about old Doc Bachman that been drinking from any of his beakers or shooting off ray guns in the men's room? I'm no shrink, you know, Larry. No, but you're a woman. Who knows a man better than his wife? Look, Carol's reputation is a little flaky, but we can't afford to ignore her. All right. I'll have a look-see. But I'm going to need her cooperation. Gotten into a lot of places before, but this is going to be the toughest place I'll ever get into. A marriage. And it's a real publisher. One of Larry's ex-wives edits all these self-help books. Mm -hmm. Really something. We're gonna have to keep a tight cover on this. I'm dealing with a really brilliant mind here. Yeah, one that may be southbound. Yeah, but so far we're cooking. At least he hasn't objected to a visit from one of his wife's old college roommates. I don't care who she is. I'm not having a crowd of harpies running around here while I'm working. Estelle is a very talented writer, and I haven't seen her since before she moved to Ireland. We were very close. Just keep her away from me. I don't have time for a mind that pours out voluminous racks of supermarket drivel. Miss Thornton. Yes. Mrs. Bachman's been expecting you. Very good. Come in. Thank you. And a lovely home. Mm -hmm. Okay, Alex, don't get upset. Remember what the doctor said. Besides, she'll only be here for a couple of days and you'll like her. Really. You used to love company. This way, please. Estelle. Carol. I'm so glad. Oh, it's been much too long, my dear. Oh, oh it's good to see good you. To see you. Estelle, this is my husband, Alex. Alex, this is one of my dearest friends, Estelle Thornton. What an honor, Dr. Bachman. Alex, please. Carol's told me a lot about you. Oh, Carol, Alex, this is my secretary, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. How do you do? Hello. Excuse me. Where do I put these? And my driver, Dan. 
Hi, Danny. Katie, why don't you show Danny and our guests up to their rooms? Yes, ma'am. Right this way. Yeah. Yeah. Her husband's a very charming man. Yes, he is. Liz, it's just that Alex is so different. Different how? He's cold. He's distant. He treats me like a stranger. He runs off to unannounced meetings. He makes phone calls at weird hours. He's... Did you express your concern to him? I suggested therapy. He said I was the one with the problem. I'm beginning to wonder if he was right.